<laughs> so I'm gonna go on a central journey with you. I'm dressed up like a kitty. I have my kitty leash collar and gemmed collar on and just a fuzzy comfy thing. And I call these glowy things. These are my kitty my glowing kitty robot whiskers. And I have feathers because cats love playing with feathers. And my ears. And look at these awesome tights. They're kitties. See? They're kitty tights. And then are you ready to see my awesome tail? Look at that. It's a unicorn rainbow tail. Mm, and we're gonna shake off the sexual energy. Mm, so I invite you to join me. We're gonna do a sex magic practice where we explore sensation. A little bit of primal play, a little bit of BDSM, a little bit of Tantra. And so I invite you to join me or just watch and go back to it later and do it on your own. Okay? So first, just kind of ground and root. <sighs> this song is really great. It's called Awakening the Serpent. On an album called The Calling by Raphael, tantric artist from Hawaii. Oh. All right. I have been preparing for this for a little while, so I'm feeling pretty in my body and ready. So on my right hand, I'm going to put what we call a vampire glove. So it's leather and it has teeth. It has these little sharp things that you know, I can go like this and it doesn't hurt, but I could also go deep. So, different types of sensation. I love gloves. I love the feeling of gloves in my hand, and I love playing with gloves on people's bodies. And this is another one of my favorite. Oh, damn it, it's for the wrong hand. Is that? It won't work. All right. This is one of my other favorite gloves. <laughs> it's a red leather glove. And then the other things we'll be playing with is, so this is the piece of palm I gathered from my canyon ritual and rose. Mm -hmm. And this right here is an evil stick. It's amazing. So you see, can be gentle, can be evil made of fiberglass. Did I bring anything else? No, those are my three things. <clears throat> and then the rest will be like this journey. So how we're going to start this journey. Closing my eyes. Taking my hand. This vampire glove. Just caressing and creating some sensation in my face and mm, making sounds, letting your pleasure be heard. I don't have a lot of skin points right now, but you don't need much. Shoulders are amazing, receiving sensation. The neck so powerful. The ears, the scalp, oh, vampire gloves and the scalp on the neck. And you can also like give a good squeeze. So it's just like, mm, this wakes up your senses. Now, like this whole spot is tingling. It's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna pull myself around a little bit to feel what it's like to be dragged around. <clears throat> like I'm letting go. See? 
submit to the sensation of being bound and held, handing over the leash to the universe to guide me in my path. <laughs> Always bringing in the magic, and now I want to take this glove off so it'll make it easier for me to do some other things. And do I have what else can I remove? I can I can get some more legs. Let's see. Give you some more legs and feet. Let's put that fur back on. Fur is a great sensation. Mm, now we're gonna bust out the evil stick. Mm, I'm gonna fold this up some. So I have some butt to play with. Okay. So now here's that evil stick. <laughs> so my first time experiencing it. You hear that? Right there. So gentle, like you can go... Like you go closer to where the hand is, it's gentler. The closer you get to the tip, it's stingier. And of course, the harder you whack, I don't know, yeah, it's too dark in here, but I have little lines and welts right there that feel so good. Whenever you um, put sensation on a part of the skin in any way, it doesn't have to be super painful, you wake up that skin to another level of sensation. Mm, mm, waking up my feet, waking up my legs. Mm. Oh, you know what's really good? The bottom of the feet, whacking. The bottom of the feet around you and it feels so good. I'm really in feet. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get that tuckus. That tail. I'm going to hold myself for this one. Mm. And bend over. And get myself. Because tonight's a play party with me alone. Ah, breathing it in. There's so many ways to play with yourself, celebrating your sexuality in your own way. It's your sexuality. And it doesn't always have to be focused on the genitals. Mm, 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 mm. One good stinger. Let's see if I can find a spot right there. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, my body feels so weak. And now this sacred, beautiful instrument that I made. It's, you know, like a sacred flogger made from all earth material that I gathered from my ritual earlier in the canyon and pieces of roses um, from a lover, client, student, friend. Mm, I'm gonna trace this around my body. Oh, it's such an interesting sensation. sensations because there's like fuzzies and then little moist bits and tingly soft thin bits ah it's stuck in my hair 
but try the sand. <clears throat> the sand's gonna be pokier. to wrap this up tighter. I'm losing some of it. I think I'm going to put some ribbon around it. Mm. Let's see if I can flog myself with it. Let's find a good grip. Gotta have a good grip. And the right angle. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a good palm tree and rose in sacred dirt logger. Let's get my sacrum. Let's see how many of my chakra points I can reach with this sacred blogger. Mm, 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 mm. Cleansing and clearing my roots. Cleansing and clearing my sacrum. Cleansing and clearing my solar plexus. Cleansing and clearing my heart. Cleansing and clearing my neck. Cleansing and clearing my third eye, cleansing and clearing my crown, cleansing and clearing my entire aura with this sacred BDSM piece of earth, logger, ritual, art piece that's juicy and yummy and dirty and great. And I definitely think I got dirt everywhere now. Ha ha ha. Oh, so I feel good after that little journey. Thank you for joining me for a little journey tonight. And I don't know what the rest of the night has in store for me, but I know I'm not done. I'm going to keep journeying and have myself a private pleasure party. And if you ever want to have a private pleasure party with me, then get in touch. Check out my website. And then um, get in touch with me via phone so we can discuss what kind of private pleasure journey you want to go on and get it done. Especially here at this amazing temple, we're going to be moving, so I'm offering some great specials before I move. Get in touch. Hope you enjoyed the journey.